All right, welcome back. It is a beautiful morning here in Bellright. I am going to show you today about setting up an outpost and setting your deliveries. Timestamps will be down below. We are going to go over five topics. How to set up a new outpost, how to switch the buildings to that outpost, assign villagers to your outpost, set up tasks and priorities in your new outpost, and then finally setting up deliveries. First and foremost, I am on the map right here. I am near this exiled craftsman's hut. If I ever want to use a vendor that's 24 seven, they sleep outside, it's kind of weird. Uh, and here's my main town. We've been walking back and forth here and I've been porting back and forth to build all this stuff and it is now finally built. So let's get to work. How's that new First and you? foremost, you see that it says mining hut two. You want to find, in, you hit N, you go to buildings, if it's not already on it, find Mining Hut 2. It's right down here. So I'm going to switch settlement. I'm going to New Outpost Create. It's right by a pond, so we'll label it Pond. Works for me. But that's my main. So now this says Villagers Required. I don't have one yet. This is going to be Housing Tent 8. No this is how you now. change all your houses. This is housing tent nine. We're going to hit N again. We're on buildings. Go down to H. So housing tent eight. We're going to switch it to assign it to pond. There we go. And now we need this structure. By the way, when you build it, immediately turn it off. It still does it from deliveries, but it keeps your guys from putting stuff in there until you've switched it. This is stockpile number six. So we're going to come down here. Stockpile number six. We're going to change this to pond. So now, pond. Pond. That one says pond, and that one says pond. So this companion guy I've got, he's just the, my town guard from my main. Uh, but I need a worker here, so he is in this one. Population, he's right here. Mr. Gregory. Right here it says switch. So he says his town affiliation here. I'm going to switch him to Pond. Now, I don't think setting him as a guard to Pond counts as a worker, but let's find out. It does. So even having him set to guard, which, for those who are unaware, if you hit N, you see up here raid threat. If you go to your new thing, raid threat, having a guard will decrease your frequency of raids. Some people don't want that. I get it. I'm just letting you know how it works. So now let's talk about assigning the what you're wanting. I want this because I want copper and once I build the other hut I want reeds. So I'm gonna set this up to mine copper. I want it to mine it all the time. So we're gonna top up and I'm gonna head it to 25. I want 25 copper every single day. It will become a lot. It'll get to the point where I have to shut it off. But for right now, 25 copper. This is the only thing in range. There are some stone uh, stone nodes, but I don't care. I don't care about anything else. I'm only here for copper. So copper, priority, priority. Everything's priority. We're, we already have an axe. Do not use the better quality axes. They are more expensive to, to fix because you need a bronze ingot every single time you want to fix it. But that'll be work just fine. So now we have that set up, but now we have to worry about our deliveries. The people that will be living here, they need food. In fact, let's go ahead and get another person. Um, she is not my one of my better archers, so let's put Natalia. Talia, I'm going to switch you over here to Pond. So now she's coming over as a worker, and she has her food. Uh, I'm going to set up her... So pond, she, that is that is her job and nothing else. You can see what buildings are set up here. So mining must count as harvesting. And then deliveries is just taking it from this and putting it into your stockpile. Deliveries is not actually delivering things at nighttime. So let's talk about deliveries. Hit N again. You can see I'm on Kermoran. I'm going to hit deliveries. Whatever town is listed right here where my mouse is hovering, that's the town you're delivering to. Whatever the drop down arrow is, is the town you're delivering from. So since this is pond and it's copper ore, I don't actually have copper in Krasmir, so change it to pond. 
I want 25 a day. So every day, 25 copper from pond. Let's just make sure I did this right again. 25, top up, priority one. So now the other issue I have is this has no food. There is no food here. Everybody's going to starve if I leave it that way. So let's do some dried berries. I have a lot of them. Now this has to come from my main town because that's where it comes from. And trust me when I say you can do three types of food and not very many of them. It will feed everybody. So mushrooms. I like the... I would prefer to do dried mushrooms. They just don't do enough of them because that's a productivity bonus. So I do smoked mushrooms because they love making smoked mushrooms. I wish we could kind of like pick and choose which they did. It would make it much easier. So I'm going to come down here. I'm going to do one more thing. I have a ton of radish. I don't know why. I guess the yield is just absolutely massive. But what it does is it gets them three food types. This 15 each day will feed six people just fine. Like, it will feed them just fine. In fact, I've got one more thing I need to do. I need to come over. Let's see if it'll let me add from two places. So, spoiled food up there. Let's see if it'll let me add it. another one. It does. So, I want spoiled food from pond daily. And we'll set that up to 10 just in case. In case any of that spoils that I send over here, I can send it right back to, to home and everybody's happy. And that goes daily. Kermorin from pond. Perfect. So we've got our delivery set up to my main town. Delivery set up from my main town. So we're going to feed everybody. We're going to send all my copper over. Now I'm going to go ahead and stop the video. I will come back just before midnight so you can see. Because it happens at midnight and it's automatic. So you can see how it works when it pops up and shows the various things. You can see right now in here, this just has some wood. That was because it, uh, the system auto delivers and it prefers stockpiles over your barns. I don't understand that either, but it is what it is. I'll be right back. All right, we are back. You can see it is 1130. I'm going to come over here. Yeah, she was able to get to 24 copper and some crude stone. We do have to add crude stone to the deliveries. I'm not going to do it right now because I want you to see the midnight thing. But there is no food in here. There's just this. It's going to deliver that entire chunk. It should right here at midnight. She's already gone to sleep. She did. She broke the axe. I had to repair it and she used that much of, this, of the second part of it. She, so she probably would have done more than t the 25 for today even though she got here at like what, like 9.30 in the morning or so? So here it comes. Watch on the screen on the left-hand side. I'll put it in this grass over here so it's easier to see. At midnight, you're just going to see a whole bunch of stuff being delivered like crazy. So there it is. All right. So let's see what this has got. So it has no uh, no copper in it, and it has all three of the foods that we said. <laughs> one that's about to expire, of course it did. Uh, you know what? I'll give that to my dude over here who's who's walking around. Make sure he's got food in his... He's got all kinds of food. He's even got spoiled food. Well, now you got more food, buddy. And now this has got spoiled food to take for the next day. So, you see how that worked? Everything's happy. We'll go over here real quick. We'll check the main town because I've been completely out of uh, copper and it's been driving me crazy. Now, like I said, it doesn't like to usually go to the barn, but let's see if it did. It did not. There it is, 24 copper. So, success. I hope that helped you uh, figuring out outposts. Have a great day.